Hello YouTube, Jeep and Bubba here, and today we're doing the long anticipated full walk around of my off-road trailer. Let's check it out. So we're in North Carolina on top of a mountain right now, and if you want to find out exactly where we are, you're going to have to go subscribe to the Adventure Rush channel, and you're going to have to bug him in the comment section for him to tell you where this is, because he told me not to tell, so I can't tell you. Um, I want to show this to you while it's open and then I'm going to pack it down and move it a little bit because we're kind of in some briars But when we made it to the spot last night. There was a couple people with uh, ground tents and this was our best spot to be out of their way So I'm gonna show you this So this is the tough stuff overland alpha 2. This is a hard top rooftop tent You can put any rooftop tent really that you want on uh, this trailer, but this is the one we went with, and it's been my favorite trailer so far. Um, you see the back wall is insulated. There is a uh, four-inch mattress, and then we did a condensation mat in here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's this mat right there. And uh, really like that the back wall is insulated. Last night it was super windy and raining. We felt like the the tent was gonna get ripped off the trailer, but it was actually fairly quiet in here. Um, like the pouches, I use that for all kind of stuff. The uh, sunroof or moonroof, whatever you call it, is actually plastic. It's got a um, a uh, rain fly, so you can even if it's raining, you can see the stars and uh, stuff like that. And then you got a window on each side. Um, they're double insulated, so you could close both windows and get even more insulation. I'll say this is a really really warm tent. Uh, I'm not going to show you too much of it, but uh, one thing I like about it, it has LEDs on the inside, and it has LEDs underneath, so at nighttime, we turn those on and it lights up this whole area. And there's one other thing I wanted to show you before we uh, break the tent down and move it, is that we have our level jacks. So I put one on every corner, so this particular spot, let me get this in frame there you go so in this particular spot it was actually leaned a little bit to the left when we set up so we went ahead and turned those all the way up and just barely have those touching the ground and it leveled us right out so when we're laying up in the uh the bed on the top we're not feeling like our heads downhill or feet downhill or we're left or right or anything like that so uh, that's it all set up i will walk it around a little bit real quick um, like I said, there's a huge rainstorm last night. I'm not sure how those uh, um, windows that are open with the poles stayed up because the wind was crazy. Super heavy rain. We're at like 6,000 feet elevation. But that's basically what it looks like set up. And we can still get to all of our gear below. I'm going to break it down and show you what it looks like broken down. And we're going to get some drone shots and show you all the features. All right, guys, we got it packed up, and I moved it to a place where there's not as much tall grass. So I'll walk you around and show you pretty much all about it. So we'll start with the back. Um, well, I'll start with the frame. I built the trailer. The bottom portion that holds our axles is 3x3, three three, and there is a centerpiece that is 2x3 right down the middle this is just a little uh, cap to kind of hold everything together but also I used it basically as a bumper so to speak did some off-road LED lights that are in those metal boxes because I didn't want you know it to hit a tree or something and, and lose a light um, I'm actually gonna move that tag mount move the tag over here uh, but I've just got it in, a, in the hitch right now I also welded in a hitch that's connected all the way through the center of the uh, Jeep. That two by three that's in the middle is what is actually our tongue of the Jeep and it runs all the way through the middle of the Jeep, or the middle of the trailer. So when I was designing the trailer, I wanted that center two by three to be what I built everything else off of. And so when I'm pulling the Jeep or if I'm recovering from the back, it's all interconnected and it's, it's super strong. So we welded these uh, uh, stabilizer jack mounts on every corner so you can take them off. Um, used two by two, almost all of it's 11 gauge. Uh, I had a little bit of 14 gauge sitting around that we did a few things out of, but almost all of it is 11 gauge. Um, built these little tailgate tables out of some one by one. And uh, I really 
not tailgate tables, but a fender table. So I wanted a little bit of a fender, but something also I could sit a drink on or sit stuff down on and did some LED lights. So at night when I'm driving, I can actually see where my fenders are. Um, these are Mamba wheels. They're the same as what's on my Jeep and my Jeep's on 37. So I went ahead and did 37s on here as well. So we did um, the same bolt pattern, obviously, in wheel as the Jeep. So that, that spare that I keep on my Jeep will actually fit right here. Now, what we're using for axles is what kind of cost me some money and uh, what makes this trailer so awesome. It's the Timbrin axle system. So there's no you know center differential or anything like that. There's no leaf springs. It runs on these Timbrins. And uh, you do have the option to weld it just and bolt it. That's what I did. But I also used that cross section there uh, to attach the two just for more stability because um, I knew I'm going to beat this thing up. It also has trailer brakes. Um, this, these are considered 6,500 pound axles. I, they have options for the spindles and I did the wide spindles so it actually pushes the tires out and then they only make them in a six by six so I had to make I had to buy an adapter to adapt it to um, the five on five so that's what we got going on there trailer brakes five on five 37 inch tires um, and it's the timber and 6500 pound axles right there so uh, all that's bolted in and worked well we just did some thin Aluminum that's actually coated in like a, uh, a silver material on the outside and then it's just raw on the inside What I did on the inside is put in a piece of mar uh, marine plywood You can kind of see that there. I got all my gear back here right now, but we did a piece of marine plywood and coated it um, in rust-oleum paint and then caulked everything so uh, we have a cover for this that we keep in the front, and so we can actually cover all this and keep a lot out. We also use the Play Doh boxes, so that you know keeps a lot of our dust and dirt out. I've got a Pelican case that has my clothes in it, and then uh, you know it holds a lot of our gear. Usually, what we have back here is our our camp chairs, um, maybe propane things like that. And then the rack above is what holds our tent, as you can see. Victory 4x4 makes these molly panels. This one, I think, was actually for a Tundra, uh, but I made it work, and it holds our shovel, um, axe there, and it's got a little knife right up here. But we can throw anything kind of we would want up there as well. Um, again, the hardtop tent from Tough Stuff, the Alpha 2. Um, here's where it gets a little bit different. We did some LEDs on the side. Okay. And then I extended the frame to come past the body so that we can hold a few things. So what we got here is five gallons of gas. That's a NATO can. And then five gallons of water. That's a um, front runner can. And then this is a seven gallon um, pressurized water tank. So I fill it up with water here, put an air source to it right there. It's got a check valve and we can have a... a, a um, a garden hose right here and I can spray the kids off do dishes that kind of thing and then we did an ATV toolbox and so all kind of fitting good so one thing that happens when I go out west is I always find like we don't have enough gas when we're on the highway so I wanted to have a little bit extra gas here's where we keep the cover for the actual uh, trailer itself here's our hose um, we've got some recovery gear in here we got some tools so Super helpful, the box locks as well. And then there's that two by three that runs through the center and then it goes into a lock and roll hitch. We did a four inch raised hitch and it's a lock and roll style hitch. And then when I'm towing, um, I use this anti-rattle um, clamp, whatever, they're pretty cheap. But this thing allows the vehicle to articulate. And of course, um, we've got a plug for our lights and for the brakes. I'll kind of show you. I think we have enough light. I'll try to get down here in this grass. So, under our front cargo area, we just have some grate. And then our floor there. But you can see, kind of see, I hope. There it is. It focused. There's our 2 by 3 that runs to the center. There's part of the axle system. That's going to be our lowest portion. But we have more clearance on the trailer, literally, than we do 
on the on the Jeep itself. Then we've got, I'll show you down there, we got our hitch tied in and I even made a little bit of a skid for it. And then um, there's crossbars to support the floor. And then we've got our three by three that, uh, the, basically the three by three and the two by three is what is the core strength of this trailer. Um, but it's really, really kind of overdone because I've bent frames on trailers before. And you know, usually, most trailers that you buy from like Lowe's is going to be C channel and kind of cheaper steel. So we wanted to make sure building this one that uh, that it was super tough. And there's lots of reinforcements all throughout underneath. So that's the gist of it. I've taken on a good bit of trips. Never had any real issues with it. Um, we actually noticed when we got up here today, some of our clamps were a little bit loose. So we tightened those up. I got our tools with us, but uh, once we have our stabilizer jacks down, super, super stable. Um, the bed area, you know, it's about the size of an S10 bed. The cover we got is for an S10 bed, so it carries a good bit. I'm probably going to get a different style boxes here soon. Either the Rome boxes or an OVS that takes up a larger section. Um, but holds a lot of gear, articulates very well and uh follows the trailer or the jeep anywhere i want it to go when we designed it one thing you'll see is that we wanted the trailer to be in the same profile as the jeep so it's the same width uh tracks the same as the jeep but the the tent itself is not really any taller than the roof rack on the jeep so maybe the very top part of it is slightly tar larger but it's all streamlined and it pulls down the road good um really doesn't affect the gas mileage as much as we had noticed when we had the rooftop tent actually on the jeep and we can haul a lot more gear this way so um also say we want to go rock crawling today you know we can leave this somewhere uh lock it up and take the jeep off and come back to it and leave the stabilizer jacks down so that you know it's pretty much ready for us to go when we get here um but that's the gist of it Hope you guys like the trailer. We'll try to get a little bit of footage of it going down the trail today. Um, and I'm going to shoot a few aerials real quick. But this is basically the second edition of off-road trailers I built at Blackberry Off-Road. Um, I built probably 90% of this by myself. Uh, Kyle Hitch helped me a little bit. And uh, we built it in shop. And uh, I would say retail, this thing would be in the twelve to 13000 range um we had about you know 3500 bucks in the axles and brakes uh wheels and tires uh you've got a good bit in the steel itself was about three grand you got the tent so all the different accessories and add-ons that you keep adding on like the lock and roll hitch and things like that i think you could make these a little bit cheaper but i wanted to build it um where it's not quite the thirty thousand dollar price tag of a of a turtleback trailer but um i also wanted it to be Kind of open air where if i wanted to haul firewood i could um whatever gear i want to put in here i'm not you know stuck to one thing and i mean i've got um at any given time 12 gallons of water so i've got five gallons of fuel i've got a lot of gear and uh still fairly light i can pick this tongue up um with some effort but and move it around in my driveway and put it in my garage so that was the other thing we wanted it to fit in the garage so um we buried down the trailer tires we packed up camp and we are about to head out so thanks for watching i'm jeep and bubba eat your prunes and we'll be seeing you